This is the main control panel for your motorhome. Since you'll be connected to the campground water, the water pump will stay off. And since you're connected to campground electricity, the generator will stay off. You can turn the water heater on here. It uses the propane to heat the water in the RV. It will take about 15 minutes for the water to get hot. The fault light will come on for one to two seconds and should go away. Here you can check your tank levels. You have LPG for the propane. The lights indicate empty, one third, two thirds, or full. Here you have the battery for the RV. Since you're connected to campground electricity, you don't have to worry about that. Fresh water for the RV. Since you're connected to the campground water, you also don't have to worry about that. Black is the wastewater for the toilet. Once that is full, the toilet will back up and the tank will need to be emptied. Gray is the wastewater for the sinks and the showers. Once that tank is full, then the shower will back up and the tank will need to be emptied. Here's the main fuse box for your motorhome. If you notice that something is not working, you may want to check here first to see if any fuses have blown or if any of the circuit breakers are in the off position. If the circuit breakers are not resetting and they're kind of stuck in the middle, you'll have to turn it all the way off and then back on. You'll notice outlets like this located throughout your motorhome. They work exactly the same as the outlets in your home. You can charge your phone, plug in a gaming console, etc. If you notice that these outlets stop working, you'll want to come into the restroom and locate the outlet next to the sink. It'll have a test and reset button on there. And most of them will also have a light indicating if the plug has been tripped. If the red light is on, that means it has been tripped and you'll need to just press the reset button and that should fix the plugs throughout the whole motorhome. Only the plug in the bathroom has this reset. If this plug is not responsive, then you'll want to check the circuit breakers on the campground post and then the circuit breakers in the RV fuse box. This is the toilet for the RV. It's absolutely important that you only use single ply toilet paper. To flush the toilet, there is a pedal on the right side You'll want to press the pedal slightly to fill the toilet bowl with water before any solids are put into the toilet. For liquid waste, this does not matter. And then press the pedal all the way down to flush the toilet. Here's the thermostat for your furnace. It'll be located in the back of the RV next to the main bed. To turn it on, the button at the very top needs to be pushed towards the center so it's sticking straight up and down and then you can adjust the temperature with the slider at the bottom. Here is the thermostat for your motorhome. It will control the furnace and the air conditioner. The button on the left will let you select the modes. So here's the fan. You can set it to auto, high, or low. It is recommended that you leave it on auto. Pushing mode again will go to the air conditioner and you can set the temperature there. Pushing mode again will go to the furnace. Again, you can set the temperature there. If you notice that the temperature settings are not going higher than 32 or 34 degrees, then it could be that the system is on Celsius and you'll have to push the arrow buttons together to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Here are the controls for your air conditioner. They'll be located on the ceiling. Turn the fan to low then high fan, and then low cool, and high cool. If you notice that the air conditioner is blowing room temperature air, or it's not cold at all, then switch it back to high fan for 30 minutes, and then switch it back to cool. If you're unable to get channels from your TV, or the signal is not clear, you'll have to do a channel scan from the main menu First, you want to make sure that the source of the TV is set to TV. Then open the main menu. At the top, you'll need to go over to the right to channel. Then down, make sure that this setting is selected to air and not cable. And then you'll start the auto scan. You'll select yes. Once this process is done, then you should have channels or a clearer signal. 